Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're taking a look at the Pharos Executive Light. And I'm assuming the executive part makes it fancy. So anyway, it's supposed to be a little bitty pen-like light. It's supposed to, I mean, I guess you can tell it's supposed to look like a, a pen like to write with. And it's supposed to take AAA batteries. And it's supposed to be really bright. And if you're interested in this, I'll include a link in the description if you want to check it out. So let's see. It has two modes, 180 and 15 lumens. It'll last one hour or 12 hours. And it can survive, apparently, a drop from two meters. And some clouds, I guess. So don't take it diving. All right, let's open this thing up and take a look at it. There's a lot of things in here with words. I'm finding it difficult to care about these. And blah. Stickers. Alright, so let's see. So it tells us all the bits of the light, which is kind of interesting. Grasp the bezel of the pharos with one hand and the body with the other rotate clockwise. Light will activate at its maximum uh, level. Rotate the body rapidly off and then on again. Okay. It's constructed of a tube of aircraft aluminum. Huh. You know what's kind of funny? I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but my phone just decided that I'm super interested in aircraft aluminum. Anyway. Okay. So, let's try this out. It feels heavy enough that there are sh there should be batteries in it already. Oh, wow. So, that is bright. So if you click it on and off, you get the dimmer version. I guess y'all can see the dimmer version. Hmm. And then you get the super bright version. That's kind of interesting. I don't know. It feels a little weird. The, the mechanism to turn it on and off it just sort of feels awkward. Unless maybe... Can y'all hear that? There was like a click. Maybe it's supposed to turn it all the way back. Okay, that makes sense. So you turn it all the way one way to turn it on. You click it on and off real quick to turn it the other way. And then you turn it all the way back until it clicks to turn it off. Huh. That's kind of neat. Sort of interesting. One thing I do like about it is it looks enough like a pen that you could have it like in your shirt pocket. Wow, that sounds like a nerdy kind of thing. Pens in your shirt pocket. Anyway, um, well, it's accurate. I would have pens in my shirt pocket. But, um, kind of neat. And pretty bright. So, let's see. We unscrew it, I assume. To get to the batteries. Not bad. Not too bad at all. Anyway, let me know what you think. Oh, alright. Yeah, there we go. Let me know what you think. Is it kind of a cool little thing or not? I'll include a link in the description if you want to check it out. Um, I'll include it to the, the actual web page for the products. Like, for, oops. That's interesting. I'll include a link to the the actual manufacturer's webpage. I'm not sure if it's on Amazon. And anyway, the the manufacturer's webpage has information about if you want to find one of these. Hmm. That's sort of weird. 
I wonder why it keeps randomly clicking on. Hmm. I don't know. It's a bright light. I don't know about... It concerned me that there were, it was kind of clicking on a little bit. That's a little weird. I don't know. If any of y'all have... Wow, that is bright, though. If any of y'all have tried this light, let me know in the comments if you run into the problems I do about... Because, like, you drop it, and it flicks on. Maybe it's just the battery's kind of bouncing around. I don't know. It doesn't seem like... Aside from the just briefly clicking on, though, it doesn't seem like it, like, accidentally turns on. I don't know. Anyway... If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope y'all have an excellent day.